Hello and welcome to today's MyMiniMaths.co.uk video tutorial. And today we're going to be adding together three digit numbers and two digit numbers. And we are going to be looking at how we can carry numbers over into the next larger column. And first of all, we're going to look at question one, which carries on, continues from uh, Monday's uh, lesson with adding a three digit number and a three digit number together. So we have 281. We're going to add that to 617. So let's have a little look. We're going to just look at the um, column uh, for this question. So we have 281 and we're going to add it to 617. And again, we're going to look at the units, the tens and the hundreds. And this is a very, very important part of maths uh, and numeracy uh, and so you can split up the number into different sections so first of all we're going to look at adding together the units so that's one unit and seven units so that gives us a total of eight units then we have eight tens and one ten that's nine tens for 90 which goes into the tens column and then finally we have two hundreds add six hundreds gives us a total of 800, which is, which is placed into the hundreds column for a final answer of 898. And next on to question two, which is 53 plus or add 28. And again, I'm going to write them into our columns, 53 plus or add 28. It's very important that you include these lines here because what it does, it separates the answer area inside the lines from the question. And again, we're looking at units and we're looking at tens. Now, this one's slightly different because when we add three and eight together, we actually total 11. So actually we have uh, a one in the units and we have a one in the tens for 11. Then, when we look at the tens, we have 50 plus 20, which is 70. And then what we can do is we can add these all together. So one add zero is one, 10 add 70 is 80 for a final answer of 81. And next we're on to question three, which is 42, add 19. Now, first of all, when I look at this question, that something we can do is we could actually do this in our heads, um, which is not really what we're looking at today, but it is possible and it's certainly something you should consider because we could add 20 to give us 62 and then take the one back off, give us a final answer of 61. So it is something we can do in our head, so we can use mental maths for that. But again, as I've said, we are looking at formal written methods today, and it's important that we just try and use some smaller numbers to get you used to uh, carrying over into the next column first. But don't be afraid to use mental maths and have a go in your head. You can always check it with a written method afterwards. So let's look at setting this out into our columns. We have 42, add 19, and we have our units and our tens again. So let's have a look. Again, our units, two add nine is 11. So it gets placed into relevant columns. So if you look here, we have one unit and then here we have a 10. And that's how we show our 11 when we add two and nine together. And finally, we have our tens column. So we have 40 plus 10, no carrying over needed into the hundreds here. So it's a simple 50. And then when we add them together, we have one add zero is one. And then 10 add 50 is 60 for a final answer of 61. And finally today we're going to look at question four. 
which is 14 plus or add 46. And we're going to place it into our columns again and break it down into our different columns. So we have our units and our blue tens. So first of all, four add six is 10. So there's zero units and one 10 when we add four and six together. And then we have our tens, which is one 10 and four tens, no carrying over into the hundreds needed. So it's a simple 50. And we're going to add these together. All together, there's absolutely no units at all. And then in the tens, we have 10 and 50, which gives a final answer of 60. So that's everything for today, but make sure to have a look at Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays mini maths so you can continue practicing um, your column methods and carrying over into the next column. And with lots of practice, you'll be flying through them. Okay, thank you very much for listening today and take care.